Now, the obvious question is, why are these words so cross? Cheer up, nouns. This is the New York Times crosswords for the Nintendo DS. Developed by Budcat Creations and published by Majesco, the New York Times crosswords isn't really a video game per se, this is more a software application, a collection of a thousand crossword puzzles from the very pages of the New York Times. Whatever you want to call it, whatever label you ascribe to it, it's one of the best, well, things you can buy for your Nintendo DS. And that's because the value here is just phenomenal. You're getting a massive collection of crossword puzzles with a ton of great features. You can play a puzzle every day with your coffee, you can play one at random, you can even play with a friend. The game has cooperative and competitive multiplayer, and the best thing is, you only need one game cartridge. In terms of the gameplay, uh... Well, it's, it's a crossword puzzle, and it actually works great on the Nintendo DS. You can use a keyboard if you want, but the default option works really well. You just write letters on the touchscreen, and the game uses some really impressive handwriting recognition to decipher your chicken scratch. Now, the puzzles have varying degrees of difficulty, with Sunday puzzles being the most challenging, and Mondays being the easiest. Regardless, I suck at crossword puzzles every day of the week, which is frankly surprising considering my immense vocabulary and my renowned intellect. But thankfully, the game has a hint system that fills in a letter for you, so if you're not sure about your guess for a certain word, you can just use a hint that fills in one of the letters. This is a nice feature and it's really easy to use, which is smart considering the casual audience for a game like this. But as much as I love the, the overall package, I have to say I'm not a fan of the game's style. The colors, the menus, the icons, the game just doesn't look very appealing. This is obviously a minor complaint for a crossword game, but it would have been nice if the game would have used a cleaner and maybe a little more elegant design. But otherwise, there's just not much to criticize here. The audience for a game like this is obviously the casual crowd and crossword fans, but honestly, I'd recommend this game to any DS owner. It's a nice way to kill time on the bus, or in the park, or even on your couch, and to flex your puzzle-solving acumen in the process. Plus, I mean, it saves trees. And in my case, it saves erasers. It's the New York Times crosswords for the Nintendo DS.